Can I write a script for this? No. Okay. No script. Off the cuff. Alright. So, how do you say something about one of your favorite video game companies and a tech company you respect a lot? Oh, here we go. So, as many of you probably know, the Fallout series has launched. And it's awesome. In fact, it's so awesome that it has driven the sales for multiple games that are a decade plus old. Like Fallout 4... Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, and even Fallout 76 have all experienced massive upticks in sales to the point where Fallout 4 and Fallout 76 are in the top 10 best-selling games on every platform they're on right now, including PlayStation. According to an article from Eurogamer, Fallout 4, 76, 3, and New Vegas are all in the top 15 sellers in Europe right now. Top 10, even. Which is crazy, because, as I said... Multiple of those games are a decade plus old. Great to see. Love to see it. Huge Fallout fan, obviously. I want the franchise to succeed and thrive. I want it to grow. So it's, it's awesome that there are new people playing the game. I really hope those people don't have AMD GPUs. Because since February, you cannot play Fallout 3, New Vegas, or even The Elder Scrolls or Oblivion. So I have tweeted at AMD and Bethesda about this. I don't actually think Bethesda can fix it because it's a driver level problem. I mean, at least it technically loads in when I try and play Oblivion. Um, it technically loads in. Not only did it crash my game, it reset my monitor to 4x3. This is a post from February 23rd describing my exact issue. And keep in mind, this is on AMD's forums, so it's not like this is a super heavily visited forum. There are 66 replies, and everyone has the same issue. What most people are suggesting is a workaround using DXVK. DXVK is a mod that makes DirectX games run on the Vulkan backend, which typically plays better with either AMD or even more specifically low-end like ARM CPUs and, and processors. Vulkan works great, but there are graphical issues with Fallout 3 specifically in terms of flashing on Vulkan. I tried it, and I'm not doing it because it's a, it's a compromised experience. Honestly, I'm just playing it on my Xbox 360, but that shouldn't have to be my solution. Continuing to scroll down through the replies here. Yeah, let's go to the most recent. All the way down, all the way down to here. Six hours ago today. Can you guys at AMD look at it? I wanted to play Fallout 3 since the TV show, but the game crashes no matter what I do. This is someone who actively wanted to try the franchise for the first time as the TV show. And he can't. Still not fixed. I tried the Steam version, the GOG version. I don't want to roll back just for one or two games that I buy. Also, can confirm, because uh, I, I tried it, this is impacting the Windows Marketplace, the Xbox app version of the game on PC as well. So the Game Pass PC port of the game, just as broken as everywhere else. There, other than DXVK, there is one other fix, which is to roll back your drivers to drivers from last year. Which is great, as long as you don't play games that came out this year, like Helldivers, which, or Dragon's Dogma. As long as you don't want to play those games as well, as long as you only want to play games that don't come out right now, or don't need a recent driver patch to fix, you, I guess you can do that. Roll back and then update your drivers every time you want to play something else. Alternatively, I have other ways to play it. I'm playing it on my Steam Deck, and on Steam Deck, ironically, powered by an AMD chip, works fine. Um, they have their own drivers, though, the Mesa drivers. Those work perfectly fine. I also can play it on Xbox. I would not recommend using the PS3 streaming. I have fast internet. I pay for one gig speeds, and it is choppy and broken. They're, they're PS3 streaming for Fallout 3 and New Vegas and Oblivion specifically. I've tested all three. Sucks. It's awful. Don't do it. Um, may or may not include footage of it in, in this because it's, it's bad. Oh no, I can't include footage of it because you can't record PS5 or PS3 games on the PS5 when playing them. You can't use the record feature. I guess I could hook it up to a capture card. 
that sounds like a lot of work. So we're not doing that. Sorry. Anyway, um, here's hoping that AMD fixes this issue, as it's been a known issue for a while, so that people new to the franchise can enjoy my favorite video game of all time. Well, either of them in Fallout 3 or New Vegas. Those are two of my favorite video games ever made. 3 specifically is probably it for me, but yeah. And I wanted to play through Fallout 3 one more time before the Fallout 4 next-gen update hits. Guess I'm going to go play Fallout 76 instead. Unlike many people, though, I've actually enjoyed 76 for a while. I've put like 100-plus hours into it over the past year, and it's good. I'm really glad to see that that was also a game that people are growing to appreciate in light of the show. Any hoozles? Do you want to play Fallout 3? Or do you have an NVIDIA GPU and are not having these problems? This is like the only game I know of where if you have an Intel GPU, it'll work better than AMD because it'll actually work right now. So that's, you know, good for ARC users, I guess. Are you playing it on Xbox? Are you trying to play it on PlayStation? Do you wish that they would port it to Switch? Seeing as how it theoretically would run better than on my very nice desktop right now, or my laptop, or my home theater PC, since they all have AMD cards. And I've tested it on all three, and it crashes on all three. It's great. Oh, I forgot to say, this is Tim from Our Life in Pixels. Very beginning. I should probably... Maybe I'll just include this, since I'm still recording. No, that's stupid. Okay, bye.